Hello, my beautiful Scorpio Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your July 1st through 15th, 2022 reading. Remember, this is a collective reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's hit this read and see what we got. All right, we have the Five of Rods, which is a little bit of conflict or a little bit of challenge. Nothing major. You can overcome this with, with a, just a skip and a hop. Then you've got the Nine of Cups, which is the energy of your heart's desire being granted. Very happy, very satisfied, feeling very overjoyed. So, celebratory energy coming in after this little skirmish. Nothing to worry about. So, let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, hallelujah, victory with the chariot. This is an absolute success, being seen in the limelight, being treated like royalty, receiving lots of accolades. So this is a beautiful energy of victory. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Okay, so we have this beautiful hanged man coming in. This is the energy of being very much in a place of allowing yourself to really get in that crown chakra, allow yourself to connect to higher source and see things from a different perspective. So when you're in the energy of being aligned with your higher self, you are absolutely in your truth and in your empowered energy. So... When, you, when you're doing this, you will also remedy this issue. This is where we're exhausted or we've been burning the candle at both ends or we've just been overdoing it and maybe we've got, you know, some funky little things going on with an ankle or a knee or an elbow or a shoulder. Whatever it is, give yourself time to recover fully. Don't push yourself past your, your point of, of being, you know, in the energy of healing. Always allow yourself to be first when it comes to that. Take the time you need, restore, rejuvenate, and re-emerge fully charged. Because whenever this card shows up, it means there's something necessary you're going to need as extra energy for. We've got divine alignment here with the two of cups. Now, this is either your higher self taking over, putting your ego in the passenger seat, saying, hey, I got it from here. Whenever you're in the alignment, your, your thinking mind has to take a step back and let your spirit mind be the lead. Because when you're leading with your spirit mind, you're in a place of, of it, it's, this, it's an easier energy because you're not in a place of, of thinking about uh, where you rank or who's trying to, you know, circumvent you. You're not in that place. You're not thinking about what other people think. You're not thinking about what they're trying to do to you because you're in a place of power. So it also means the soulmate energy. So if you have a relationship going or someone is in your life that's in the same mindset as you, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be a partnership or a work thing. So divine mind takes over here. Absolutely. We have the divine div mind. <laughs> the divine mind is the energy of the high priestess. So head is back, eyes are closed, and she's allowing herself to let go of her resistance and, and let go of the need to control and allow herself to move with divine energy. So she's being guided through that spiritual energy. Okay. Now we have the devil card, which can mean someone who is very alluring or even uh, a little, little intoxicating, right? So the Capricorn energy is also in the negative can be someone who is uh, dealing with some issues. Uh, it could be a toxic person, but hopefully for you, it is the energy of someone who is very captivating and, and very sensual. And this is the this representation is the pagan god Pan, who is the luring you off your path, right? But allow yourself to, to realize you still have things to do. So we have this king of 
rods here for some of you this is your business or what you do for you know yourself your company um, it can also mean that passionate energy whoever this is may also be part of that so the king of wands energy is something fully formed and ready for action and we have the temperance sagittarius major arcana so very much in alignment with that fire sign energy but this is archangel uriel uriel is the energy of the keeper of the the life force herself she is the one who keeps this flame protected and it is the spark of all creation and she's doing alchemy to create some new circumstances for you to bring in synchronicity so love that you have the ability to take action you have the ability for the universe to help guide you you can't rush it though that's why you have to stay in this energy you've got the three of cups the seraphim they are known uh, for their alchemical abilities they are elemental angels and they are sprightly but still mighty mighty they have uh, been known as salt sulfur and mercury because those are the alchemical ingredients to turn lead into gold but they're also the energy of mind body and spirit we have the the four of pentacles here which is the energy of being very much in the grounded energy of money in the bank so very financially stable and the Hierophant. So this is the Taurus Major Arcana. And it also means the Welcome Wagon is here. This is where someone is offering you admittance or granting you permission to join or be part of. This is usually something you've applied for or an organization that you want to be part of. It is a great thing if you're looking for a job or if you're looking for uh, a publicist, right? Something like that. So you're, you're being brought in. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the energy of being very much in a strong foundation of standing firm in your ability to claim what the universe is giving you. This is a gift of a new financial abundance coming in. That Ace of Pentacles is always talking about more money coming in. So we love that and stable money. We have the World card where you emerge through the portal here that's being created by all the elements air water earth and fire now this is interesting the old depiction before churches kind of ruled the day um, the catholic church took this eagle and made it part of their thing so they changed the scorpio's uh, representation to a scorpion now this stands for you guys i just thought you'd might like to know that so back in the way, way back, you weren't a scorpion, you were an eagle. So we love that. This is being created by air, water, earth, and fire energy as the energy you step through. Dancing, she's joyful. This is a victory and a step up into a higher level. So all's looking great so far. Let's see what else. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all scorpio sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine boy he's really coming through <laughs> we thank you so much divine for this wonderful messages and we receive them with the love and light for which they are intended now we had two flip and we thank you for this divine guidance and welcome your beautiful energy thank you so much divine you are always welcome and very appreciated so sometimes that devil card can represent self-sabotage but it is um, a lot of times a Capricorn major arcana, but if it's not, it doesn't, it's just a representation of what that card is. Um, this can mean that you're kind of feeling like you're stuck in a place where someone's trying to control you or that you're trapped in, in a situation. Remember, you can always remove yourself from any situation. This is an illusion. This, this card does not have control over you. This devil energy does not. It, you have free will. It can't control you in that way. So the minute you choose to change it, it will change. That's why you have to get in the divine mind to see that. So don't let other people's issues 
uh, take over your energy here because you don't you can't sacrifice yourself in order to save someone else when it's inevitable that they can't be saved right so that might be part of this devil card energy for some of you trying to to keep giving to somebody who's just an energy vampire and wants to be miserable and wants to be in peril all of the time because they're addicted to the adrenaline that goes with that we also have the magician, which is telling you, get in divine mind and lock in on what your target is, what your goal is. Keep manifesting your thing and don't let someone else's thing interrupt you. That's the hard part, I know, but that's what you must do. Um, the three of swords is telling you a time period, three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. And when those swords come out in that whatever time period it's for, you get to move forward with your whole heart. So... The Knight of Swords is bringing some enlightened energy. All of a sudden, here it comes. So whether it's the person that helps you uh, and or feels like they're, you know, bringing something in to help release you from that uh, Capricorn devil energy. You've got the High Priestess here. Remember that Knight of Swords is like a lightning strike. So it's like suddenly out of the blue and very quick, quick, fast and in a hurry. The High Priestess is here again. It's telling you, you have the ability to get into that energy. And there's the World card that showed up earlier with Temperance. So Temperance is creating this gateway to help Synchronicity move you right out of whatever difficulty you're having. Remember, the energy of this um, Temperance is all about being patient enough to allow it to move. Because it does, it's not quick, but it, it does... It will create the doorway you need to step through. We have the Garden of Eden energy as the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful energy allowing you to create your abundance through your belief. And we want to believe and receive from those seraphim, that double portion. And we've got the Nine of Rods here where you're at the very edge of this money coming through and it all happening quickly. So I'm getting, uh, I got September at the beginning because we started with the Nine of Cups. So for somebody, September is important because that's what I'm getting is, is September. And then we have the Hierophant and the Star Cards. So this is your energy of your soul's desire being granted and it's here with the energy of that Hierophant. So it is a yes from the universe. For your soul's desire and that money is going to make you very secure and stable so this ace of pentacles does go right along with this queen of pentacles which means new things happening something new coming in that puts you in a place of financial stability so my darling scorpios this is an amazing reading there's a lot of of energy about being in your higher mind let yourself get out of the trap of this devil card remember the devil is a lie absolutely in every way you can think of it however you want to think it it's it's all a lie it is something that's been made to control and give you fear you don't have to believe in it the second that you choose differently your whole life will change so if it's a toxic person in your life get away from them let go of it you're not responsible for their toxic behavior and you're not the person who needs to take the brunt of it either so remove that let it go Get past it. Uh, leave them to their own devices. Don't be the whipping boy or girl. Don't be the person who has to take this punishment. You are worthy of all the good things in life. And you don't have to be part of that. So I don't know who I'm speaking to. But I am speaking to someone because I feel it. So I love you guys. Be strong. You are strong. You have a beautiful things coming in. As you can focus on those and let go of the fear. Let go of the self sabotage and let go of people who are trying to sabotage you because you have a divine line up here and all you have to do is tap into your source energy and you'll rise above all the negativity i send you lots of peace happiness joy abundance healing and prosperity i love you guys and i'll see you again in the middle of the month namaste my friends